Hi and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence and today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Snow Serpent. That's right, I finally got this one in hand. It's not even opened yet. Number 93. And again, this thing is a big figure. Lots of accessories. You can feel how heavy it is. I mean, it's not scrap iron box heavy, but it is pretty heavy. Um, looking at the figure here, there's the figure fully loaded up. Pretty much with everything that it can carry from what I can see. The artwork, which looks absolutely amazing. The wolf head. Everything that you're going to get. Which is a lot of repaint, okay? So don't let anyone fool you. There is a lot of repainting to a lot of reuse. Whether or not this was the first one that was supposed to come out or the second one, it doesn't matter. There is a lot of reuse, but hey, that's where they're going to get the deluxe. That's where they're going to get you. But you are going to end up with extra accessories. Here's the side art of it. Again, I think that looks really badass. At least the picture does. It doesn't look as good in the figure, but the artwork is amazing. Uh, and here, here, here you have a look at the figure. And again, I mentioned before, I love that it tells you the height of the actual figure. Not what he's supposed to be if he was standing up. But then he's 6 inches and 6.4 inches tall. Everything that you're going to get. Then they give you a little detail. So I'm not sure what they're going to do when they go to the window boxes or back to the window boxes. Because again, I think they did this the right way. This doesn't bother me so much because I know that it's coming from directly from uh, a supplier. Here is your file card, QR code that takes you nowhere. And here's, again, I'm not even going to go into it. Hasbro, it'd be easy just to do a file card, how half the file cards are already done. QR code links right to it. And depending on what language you are, you pick what language you want to read it, you know, on your website. So anyway, there it is. Let's not waste any more time because you don't want to look at me. You want to look at this. But before we do, if you like the content that I'm giving you, and I'm giving you lots of G.I. Joe classified content, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and hit that like button. And I did that completely out of order, but I'm not going to do this over again because... Doesn't matter. Let's look at this. All right, so here he is out of his plastic free prison. And as you can see, I have the O ring Joe back there that we will compare him to. Uh, so, first off, we'll quickly take a look at this. this is how the inside of the box comes. It does look extremely nice. Again, it's more aesthetic than anything. It just says, hey, you know what? If people are going to spend the money, we can throw some of the artwork on the back of the box. Maybe someone can figure out how they want to, you know, house them and show them. Here's where all the weapons come, every, or all the accessories and everything. Again, Cobra logo, 93. Snow Serpent's going to be upside down. 93 will be, again, great idea. I think poorly executed. I'm not going to go over that. You can watch other videos. You know how I feel. All right, so quickly, let's take a look at everything. And I got these snowshoes out, and I mentioned earlier that a lot of these things are reuse. And I quickly look at these as they came out. And I was trying to think back to this... The, the snow job that I did yesterday, and I thought, God, I said that they were not left and right. So you look at these here. They have this nice texture on the bottom. So you're going to be making, if you're actually in snow, you can make it look like you're walking. You have the peg that's going to peg in the foot, you know, the toe goes up there. But here's snow jobs, snowshoe, and they are actually different. Everything is the same except for they decided to cut this out this way and basically gave you the long piece that stuck out on snow jobs i'm not really sure why you would do something like that uh but it seems like a little bit of tooling that maybe you could have saved a couple bucks there uh with all the retooling that they do i'm not sure why they would do that so uh, i'm not sure which one is supposed to be left and right i guess we'd have to look through and see we can do that later i'll do that before we end here so that's the snowshoes. They are a little bit different than um, our buddy Snow Job, but no big deal. Here we have the bazooka, which has come with bazooka. So we've already seen this now twice and two different bazookas. We're going to be seeing it with the, uh, the His Fire team. So you have this piece that connects right here. It plugs in. This is what you're going to want to watch for because in 20 years, it's what's going to be worth a lot of money. So you can do a couple of things. You can make it so you're loading the missile here if you want to do shots. Now, I know people will say that's not how it loads, but again, it's an action figure. And then it pops right out. It also can go in the front, and it's kind of sticking out. Also, if you have the blast effects that come with scrap iron, you can use them. They plug in here, and they do work. And they also will become with the... Uh, 
the fire team 7088 or 788 fire team that is available on hasbro paul so quickly looking at this we've seen it but it does have this nice paint app so it's soft where he's going to be uh throwing it on his shoulder that's going to fold up it does have a peg right there a port it's hard to see because this one's black so you can use a couple effects i've mentioned before this came with the females you can plug this in here and make it look like it is exploding out of the back here where this one is you know starting to launch you could also add on to it so i think that's a nice little detail that no one really talks about but i don't understand why you don't give me a blast effect for this along with that in general so about the detail these things do they do set pretty nicely uh, this only works so well because the handle gets in the way if you want to throw it over the shoulder but again if you want to watch my bazooka you can find that uh, you can find that review <laughs> Uh, here's the backpack again same as bazooka here i like the color scheme on it the black with the gray i do wish the belts again just had just a, a nick of paint app i just think that would have really helped set everything off uh the missiles here they do go in like so at least they should I haven't really had any issue putting any of these missiles in. Uh, the two bazookas and popping them out. And from what I can tell, these are all just gray. There's no app, no paint apps on them. Like uh, bazooka came with some paint apps to give the, uh, the missile a little bit different color. Just a little bit of touch. Everything looks extremely nice. And then you do have this on the bottom. So if you don't want to throw it over a shoulder... Again, you can hold everything on his person like that. All right. So it does come with two pistols. Now, I believe these are the same pistols that come with the female troopers that we've already seen. They're nice. They're small. They got little uh, blast. They do have nice ports for blast effects. I like how small they are. I think they just work really well with a lot of different types of figures. Again, I don't think that you should have to be changing um, the size of the weapons for a female or a larger figure. But in reality, I would assume that if you're a smaller person like myself, you would carry a smaller weapon rather than a big giant uh, firearm that you might not be able to hold well. Here is the AR. I don't know what else to say. It's not that warped, but it's warped. And I, I'm just a little over the whole warpness of these figures or these weapons. Again, it's super flimsy. Yes, you can heat it up, straighten it, cool it down. I just really shouldn't have to. I, I, I just, there's no reason for it. They've shown that they can do weapons not doing that. It does have a removable magazine. That does stay in pretty well. You know, it's supposed to have a grenade launcher of some sort on it, but it looks kind of small. I mean, it's pretty much the size of a bullet. But I think the weapon looks really nice, and we'll see how it looks on him, considering he is a large figure compared to the female figures that are sitting over here that um, I've had it on there. Now, I think it looks really well on the female figures, but we'll see if it looks well on one of these bigger female, or one of these bigger figures, which he is. Here we have the laser rifle from the cartoon. Again, a little warpage there. Uh, it's, I don't, I don't get it. It's aggravating. You know, there you go, warp there. Again, all this stuff can be fixed, but we shouldn't have to constantly do it. If it was one, if it was a one-off, no big deal. So all this stuff is re reused. So this is stuff that, again, you know, looking at the detail here, I, I'm kind of getting lost here. You know, it has a nice scope on it. I like the black. I mentioned before, I think the tan, they really pop a way more than the black. You can see the details so much better, especially on the, on the camera. Then he has a knife, which also came with the female. So as you can see, all this stuff that I've talked about is already, it's just reuse other than his uh, snowshoes, which are almost a reuse. I don't really understand why they changed that. So here he has these big uh, giant goggles, which are nice. As you can see, the original one had them too. So, 
All right. Then he has his Cobra snowboard. Now, <laughs> I'm going to have a gripe about this. I mean, there's nothing you can really do. So I think it looks actually like a real snowboard. Uh, the nose and the tail are wider. It goes thinner down the middle. It would be made of Kevlar. There's no, um, you know, they don't give you a lot of uh, kick to the nail, nose or the tail. The bottom of it has some nice graphics. Do I have it the right way? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there it is. That's the wolf right there. So there's the wolf. It almost looks like the Mighty Duck symbol from uh, the Mighty Ducks movie. <laughs> uh, it looks like it has like maybe this camouflage on the bottom. You wouldn't be seeing the bottom, but whatever. So my gripe with this is I skate regular. This is goofy. And if you don't know what goofy is compared to regular, uh, regular is left foot forward. Goofy is right foot forward. Tony Hawk skates goofy. It doesn't mean that it's goofy skating, but understand as a skateboarder, you imagine everything, whatever your natural stance is. But all in all, it looks nice. I just wish this was set for a regular footed snowboarder, or at least make it so it can change. I will never use it because of that. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I will never use it because of that. <laughs> All right, so I kind of brought this thing up here. There's been a lot of talk about the wolf head that people think they copied it. I don't really care. I'm so tired of the politics, you know, and the crabbiness of this hobby. It's It blows my mind. Um, but here you have this really nice looking wolf coat over it. Now, this is not supposed to be timber, but clearly it could be part of timber's pack. This looks extremely nice. Now, it's not going to move. It's plastic. But just looking at it, they put some paint apps on it. Just the way the light hits it, the shadows of everything, it really does give you a nice texture. And it's darker on the outside than on the inside, which is what you're going to see. So it's very similar to this figure here, in my, in my opinion, that they took it from here. Now, he doesn't have the wolf's head, but you can imagine that's where he got it. So... It does have a peg here, so you don't have to worry about not being able to peg something into it. So you're just going to peg the backpack in here. I think it might be kind of odd. I mean, how are you going to put the backpack on that? But, but it also has the peg right here, so it is going to stay on. All in all, these things were meant to be, you know, army builders. You can build a whole bunch of them, change them around. Here you have the wolf, and they specifically discussed, like, hey, this is basically the leader. He killed the wolf. He's a leader of this, this snow serpent pack. So, looks like it just opens up. Uh, kind of reminds me of Blade 3 when that stupid vampire... Oops. That stupid vampire opens up and then swallows. <laughs> I think it was Blade 3. I think it was Blade 3. Anyway. <laughs> um, I think it looks nice. You, you have the teeth... Uh, what looks like gums on the wolf here. The nose is black. The eyes, you know, it's hard to see, but they are black. You got this gray that runs down. So the color and the paint on this, I think, are really nice, especially considering this is just a rubber, plastic rubber, whatever you want to call it. So it does fit pretty nicely, and it looks good. All right, so now let's take a look at our figure, and we'll go to we'll go to the articulation really quickly. Uh, Looking at him right away, I believe much of him is used from Snow Job, which would make sense. Let's grab Snow Job right over here. So quickly looking at it, the pants are Snow Jobs. The arms look to be Snow Jobs, although it's hard to see because this is all covered. He does have different shoulders. I'm going to assume that the upper torso is also Snow Job. Waist is different, so. Up in the T-pose, no problem whatsoever. Bicep swivel, double, double elbow, no problem, look at that. And nothing's been heated. Again, it's also 90 degrees here, <laughs> here in Michigan, so. Now, he does have no ab crunch here. This has the Bella Dancing. So he can kind of shake around. I think this is a, a good addition to it. Hopefully this is going to keep 
make it so this doesn't really impose on everything. Jean-Claude Van Damme isn't bad. Drop-down hips. Again, not a big fan of drop-down hips. His holster just fell right down. Oddly enough, Snow Jobs fell right down. It actually fell right off, which was odd. Knees, no problem. Boots, swivel. I will say this. His knees and his legs feel more solid. A, a harder plastic than some of the other figures. So, he has all the articulation that Snow Job does. I'm going to say right away, I'm very surprised. I thought looking at the shoulders up here, there would be a lot of uh, impedance. But really, there wasn't. They went straight up without a problem. And that T-pose hit nice and easy with no issue. Uh, then you look at the neck here, and he can look up that much. And you do have his neck and his head. So they're both on two different swivel points. So they actually look really nice. All right. So let's do this guy right here. I swear like I feel like something is absolutely missing. And I see what people are saying, how some people had complained that the head seemed too small. This kind of makes more sense, to be 100% honest with you. So you throw that up there. Now you really have your snow serpent. So let's just compare them. So I will say, I would say we're probably going to end up getting a retro version because we don't have this backpack. They gave him a bazooka because clearly it's supposed to represent this rocket launcher that he has. He does have, he does have the parachute. I don't know what it is. It's a safety pack parachute. I don't know what it is. I've never known what it is. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments because I've always wanted to know. I just assumed it's a parachute. I am disappointed that we don't get the AK. Seriously, maybe my favorite weapon from a real American hero, the O-ring line. And then the snowshoes, which are absolutely different, as we can see. And I'm going to slowly just kind of pull these off because we don't want to pop or break anything because... God knows, that's not good when it comes to 40-year-old figures. All right. So I will say, looking at this figure, at least from what I could see originally before I got it in hand, I thought this looked like a much darker blue. Much darker blue, like almost black. It is blue, so I think it looks extremely nice. I like the darkness. It is definitely different than how light this blue is, but not in a bad way. Uh, when you have it in hand, I think it really does pop. So, looking at him, so on the side here, same as Snow Job, he does have the uh, the pouch. They gave him the fur around his arms, which again looks extremely nice. They gave him blue fingers rather than the white fingers. The survival pack, whatever it is, camping pack straight across and as you can see it is the exact same now this one actually has better paint apps there's no paint apps on this which is disappointing the belt buckle should have some paint apps i mean you can see the detail in it and it's great that they put the detail in it but i understand it's mostly going to be the universal color but there would be some things that would just be a little bit different so but you know hold on i take that back you know as i look at it here this is actually black so I apologize for that. It looks like the handle is black, maybe. So maybe there are some paint ants, but they're just so dark you can't see them. <laughs> All right. So then you have around the chest here, or around the shoulders, the chest. Around the chest and the shoulders, you can see how the wolf uh, clothing is supposed to be held over it. Going to the back, it still has that. Well, his has a whole H. His stops there. You can see the pants go around, or the buckle goes around the pants, and underneath them. Now, he does not have a sidearm, but he does, which is good. You got the pocket in the front there. Cobra symbol, which is on both sides. Now, they did do this, like, little blue here. Yeah, I, meant, I forgot to mention it. I believe that's a zipper. So, I believe I forgot to mention that on the snow job. Uh, the boots, again, are blue and look very similar. They come out to about the exact same height. So all in all, I think it looks really nice. 
I know people have complained that the helmet isn't big enough. Again, I don't understand why you want a helmet that's supposed to look this big. You can see the ears on the side. It looks like it has more of a communication device on it. The mask is way more updated, but looks pretty good. You have this nice brown and silver, so the head just looks awesome. Again, when we pop this off, well, we can actually have it go down, and then he looks like one of those uh, those dog memes. <laughs> well, he does look like one of those dog memes with, with the glasses on him. And then it flips up. Now, if you look, you can see these little marks around it. Little gray and everything. That is how it's supposed to be. I'm not really sure why, but that's how it goes. Um, but all in all, you can see the way the marks, you know, the way the lines are. They recreated this figure really well without giving him all his original accessories, which makes me think they're coming. So now let's kind of load him up quickly here. Take his pistol, throw it on here. I do believe in one of the reviews, someone had mentioned he doesn't have a place for his knife. His knife. What's a knife? His knife. Um, so I'm not sure where you're going to put that. I mean, it's always nice to have something extra. So. That looks pretty cool. Throw the wolf on. Now, it, I don't know. I mean, again, if you don't like this figure, then you don't like this figure. That's up to you. That looks absolutely awesome. This says I need another one. So here's the backpack that we discussed. Again, I can plug it in here. It doesn't look awful, but it just doesn't make sense. Because why would you be walking with this somehow plugged into the back? Again, it's not real world. I'm one that said, hey, I don't care that Bazooka doesn't have straps. <laughs> he's, you know, he's, he's an action figure. They didn't have it. They didn't have it in the original. Here we have his have his little AR. Now it is small, but again, you'll see a lot of um, we will see a lot of special forces using shorter weapons. So you can only move the head so much here, anyway. Not really going to get a great action pose here. So if you have the wolf on here, it's not going to be going in a pose like we may have back here with Snow Job. So let's just take this thing off here. Get rid of this. Again, the, they really made it so you can modula modulate these things really well. So I don't want to pull the hands apart just yet. I'm still trying to just look at this figure and see like... The gun does seem really small. Now, I don't have a problem with it. I wish it was a little bit bigger. But as you can see in the background, I have other weapons. And I have weapons all over the place that I can use. Um, but I like the weapon. I just wish it was a little bit uh, a little bit bigger. And then here we have the classic cartoon gun, if you're into that. Now, this is what they really need to start giving. Actually, I don't. They need to sell a pack of these for people that want them. I don't really want them. But I know people do. So here we have this classic weapon. It actually looks nice. I don't mind it at all. So there you go with that. Those little goggles up here. And him and Snowjob are going to be fighting pretty soon with some Arctic bats. I got, some other Arctic bat. I got all kinds of stuff. Got them all. I, I guess I got too many... Too much stuff. And now we can just throw the wolf on here. And again, let's be honest. Someone is eventually going to have Timber getting his revenge. I'm sure I'll do it soon, too. <laughs> uh, if you want to pack... Backpack there. I'm going to throw his snowshoes on. And I am not sure which way... Now, the one thing that's nice about snowshoes is you will never, ever, ever, ever have to have a stand. You know, my feeling on stands, if you don't need them, you shouldn't use them. But you can carry everything here. And then we have the snowboard. And let's see how well he stands in the snowboard. 
as I cry that he's riding Goofy. And before someone says, maybe he's, maybe he's riding Switch, he's not because this one is angled differently. Yes. <laughs> so there he is. Look at that. I actually like the idea of the snowboard. <laughs> I just need it regular. So there you go. Silver Surfer in the snow for G.I. Joe. We got everything. <sighs> I'm done. All right, one last thing. <laughs> Universal. I showed you this is how you can hold the bazooka. Well, also, the snowshoes go on like this. So once again, he can hold everything on his person other, other than the knife. <laughs> <laughs> but they did make it so it could plug in. And I didn't realize that until I was finishing up, starting to do pictures. I went, oh, that's unique. So there you go. And I actually kind of like the way that fits. It actually fits better than the bazooka. Final thoughts on this figure. It is a must-have, in my opinion. But Snow Serpent was probably my favorite army builder, but they gave him so much, and yes... It is a $35 price point. It is pricey. There's no doubt about it. All action figures have started to go up. And even though a lot of this is reuse, repaints, they do give you a lot. And they make it so you can have three or four or five different snow serpents all looking different with one body. Now, that is expensive. They've also future-proofed it, in my opinion, that they will give us the OG one. So we'll have the classic, hopefully, AK, the classic snowshoes, the classic backpack, and rocket launcher. But all in all, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money, but I am going to say I don't think you're going to be disappointed in this one. I know I am not so far within a half hour of having it. All right, so that's my final thought on the G.I. Joe Classified Snow Serpent. Again, I like it. What can I say? But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. If you're on social media, Punk With Toys at Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. I think I did that completely out of order. Also, the Facebook group page, Punks With Toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. Also, I don't say it enough. If you do like the content, take a second. Every Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday Night Toy Ramblings. I'll be going on for at least three hours rambling on about this or that or nothing, but it seems to be that people seem to enjoy it. So why don't you join on in? But I'm going to get out of here. Before I leave, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified. Every time I do drop a G.I. Joe classified video, and again, I have more. There are more coming. There are too many coming. I don't have room. Someone buy me a new home because I don't have places for everything. I'm out of here, but don't go anywhere. Up here is the classified G.I. Joe snow job video, and here is all the snow job figures, all the G.I. Joe classified videos I've done. Take care.